Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are flying across the skies of Turkey going back to UK to Birmingham after being abroad for more than three weeks Alhamdulillah that the journey was Alhamdulillah was successful but today also is 12 September 2019 yesterday was the anniversary the 18th anniversary of the sad event of September the 11th September the 11th that we don't know really who has planned for it who did it and what was the purpose behind that but we knew and we know and we're going to know the impact of 11 September on many nations and this global impact on humanity and then many 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 people living on the surface of this earth 11 September was one of the main reasons behind changing the demography particularly in the Middle East was one of the main reasons of the sharp rise of the philosophy of thinking of the war in terror and counter-terrorism policy which is through that many many nations have been destroyed divided many millions of people have been become displaced people refugees and become clusters of people live in different pockets of their societies or in other people's societies as well. After September the 11th, many lives have been claimed. Many people died because of leukemia, particularly in Iraq. Many people suffered and still suffering particularly in North Africa, Middle East, and some of the Muslim majority countries. Look at what happened to Iraq and to the people of Iraq after September 11th. Look at what happened to Yemen and happening to Yemen now. Look at what's happening in Syria and what happened to Syria now and to Syria. Look at what's happening in Libya, what's happening in Sudan, and happened in Sudan, other countries in Africa. Look at what was happening and happening to the minority Muslims in areas in Myanmar, Rohingya people, and Jigor and Shenyang in China, and now. Kashmir. Look at what's happening to the people in Gaza and in Palestine as well. Look at all these young men and young women and try to understand and try to know and try to find the main reasons behind this claim war on terror or the fight against terrorism or the fight against the enemies of humanity the terrorist people that you should stand up to fight against any terrorism and terrorist 
but what is the impact? Only on one religion, only on certain nations. The religion is Islam, and the nations are the Muslim majority countries, and the people are the Muslims, of course. Look at the change of demography in many countries and the process of change of democracy in different areas where Muslims are living. Look at what's happening through the banking system and the control and the closure of organizations and companies under the reasons of fighting terrorism, especially after September the 11th. We feel sorry for what happened to the citizens of USA on that day and the loss of the 3,000 innocent lives. We need to understand why only those countries are affected by war and terror. Why only those nations and these people, these peoples are affected by the aftermath of 11 September, which I mentioned. Look at the condition of Iraq. Look at the condition of Yemen. Look at the condition of Syria. Look at the condition that's happening in Libya and the claimed war against terrorist group on terror and destruction and the destruction of the country and the nation as a whole. Young men and women, it's not a time of us losing hope. It's not a time of us sitting, stay, and do nothing. It's a time to find a new remedy. I'll make a new medicine to treat remedies and knowledge. Remedy, medicine, based on learning, on knowledge, on awareness raising, or building community, on spreading peace, building peace, fighting for peace, on establishing justice, freedom, dignity, and honor for human being, or bringing equality to humanity on the basis of values, of religion, of sound culture, of respecting every and anyone in humanity, no matter who are they, where are they, and what they are doing for their living. This is a message for all of us, young men and women. Don't be, don't be, don't be taken. But what is the aftermath of September the 11th? Only one people, only one culture, only one believer, only some believers, those believers of Islam, Islam will be able to do this. This is the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to save humanity and this is the message of God to all of us to save humanity. Humanity is waiting for your action. Humanity is waiting for what you can bring to every human being, to every being in humanity. Humanity is waiting for you. So don't let humanity down by what happened on September 11th and what happened on September 12th or 13th or 14th or 15th. We are going. We are determined. We will build humanity again the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to be, the way that the teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to be and wanted people to live together, Muslims and, Muslim, and non-Muslims. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhannas, 
انا خلقناكم من ذكر وانثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعرفوا انا اكرمكم عند الله اتخل. all mankind all people who have created you from a male and female then who made you tribes and nations to know one another to understand one another to live one another and to exchange knowledge and coexist with one another the best amongst you is the one who is most who is having most, more taqwa more piety in his heart on his heart and this will only be judged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ayyuhan nas Allah never said oh Muslims Allah said oh people so my young men and women what we need to do now is to sit think reflect analyze plan build connect and strengthen humanity by building the movement of peace the movement of peace the movement of justice social justice the movement of equality respect and dignity for every and each one of us assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh